Experiencing Siri saying can't show results while in the car on your iPhone? This is a safety feature, part of Apple's driving focus, designed to minimize distractions while you're driving. It restricts visual Siri responses, prioritizing audio. This video will guide you through effective solutions to manage this feature. To fix the issue, navigate to Settings, then Focus, and select Driving. Here, you can either toggle driving focus completely off or customize it to balance safety and usability. In the driving focus settings, you can turn the feature off entirely or adjust the customization options. When customizing, specify which notifications and Siri responses are permitted while driving, providing the right balance between safety and convenience. To fix the Siri limitation, navigate to settings on your iPhone. Tap settings, then scroll down and select Siri and search. In the Siri and search menu, find the setting labeled Allow Siri when locked and toggle it on. This setting allows Siri to respond to voice commands even when your phone is locked, ensuring seamless hands-free interaction while driving. Pair your iPhone with your car's Bluetooth or connect via CarPlay. This often allows Siri to bypass the visual restrictions by routing commands through your car's infotainment system. Use the steering wheel voice control button or say, Hey Siri, to activate Siri hands-free. The car's infotainment system routes Siri's commands, allowing hands-free operation without visual restrictions. This connection enables Siri to work seamlessly in the car environment. To connect your car to your iPhone via CarPlay, start by pressing and holding the voice command button on your car's steering wheel. This initiates the pairing process and prepares your car for connection. Next, ensure your car's stereo is set to wireless or Bluetooth mode. This allows your iPhone to connect seamlessly via CarPlay and prevents compatibility issues. Check your car's manual for the specific steps to enable this mode. On your iPhone, turn on both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in the Settings app. Wi-Fi enables the CarPlay wireless connection, while Bluetooth provides additional stability for the pairing. Select your car's CarPlay network from the available Wi-Fi options on your iPhone. Once connected, enable Auto Join to ensure automatic reconnection each time you get in the car. This streamlines the setup process. Finally, go to Settings on your iPhone, tap General, then CarPlay, and select your car from the list. This completes the connection, allowing you to use CarPlay features safely while driving. To avoid the can't show results while in the car message, Use Siri commands that only require voice responses. These work safely while driving focus is active. Commands like what's the weather, call John, or set a timer provide audio-only responses and are allowed. Avoid commands that need visual output, such as show me the map or read my messages, which driving focus restricts for safety. This ensures safe, hands-free operation while driving. A simple reason or restart can often resolve temporary glitches that cause Siri to show the can't show results error while driving. This clears connectivity or software issues blocking Siri from functioning correctly in car mode. First, restart your iPhone. Press and hold the side button and either volume button until the power off slider appears, then drag to turn off. Wait a few seconds, then press and hold the side button to turn it back on. Next, Restart your car's Bluetooth or CarPlay system. This varies by vehicle, but typically involves turning off the car, waiting 30 seconds, then restarting. For some cars, you may need to reset the infotainment system through the settings menu. This is often the simplest and most effective fix, resolving issues in about 80% of cases, according to user reports. Try connecting your devices again after restarting both systems. If the previous fixes don't resolve the Siri issue, there are a few additional troubleshooting steps to try. First, make sure your iPhone is running the latest iOS version. Next, check for any VPN configurations or device management profiles that might be interfering with Siri. These can sometimes block certain features. Finally, verify that you've accepted the latest iCloud terms and conditions. Unaccepted terms can prevent some iCloud features from working properly, including Siri integration. By following these troubleshooting steps, updating iOS, checking VPN and device management settings, and accepting iCloud terms, you can resolve most Siri driving issues while maintaining both safety and convenience.